I swear to God, I seen this nigga Nas at the House of Blues. I caught him out of pocket and everything. I was deep with my niggas. I know they didn't have no guns. We could have rushed him right there. I was like, what's up, yo? I said, yo, this East Coast, West Coast shit, it's not about you. Don't get caught up. And I swear to God, we love you. We got love for you. And I saw Wu-Tang, I saw Method Man, and like a couple months earlier, they, one of their niggas had got, um, he was in, a, in, in our club, 662, and somebody snatched his chain, you know, put hands on him. We got the chain back and found the niggas that did it. That's love. And I went to Method Man, like, yo, we handled that, me and shit, want to talk to you. That was never our orders, no, that wasn't supposed to go down. We got the niggas that did it, we got the shit, whatever, that's just me. You know what I mean? That's how we are. This nigga Nas went back home and started talking that fake thug and dropping little Jews and his shit. And that's wrong. Because you should have said that to me when I was right there. He knew his album said all this shit. And the nigga was like, don't do that. That means you're a punk. You know what I mean? I won't hug a nigga I don't like. That's why I'm telling you now, when I see Biggie, it's not going to be like we're going to attack him every time. I might be in a good mood. And I might not want to be going. This shit is so minor. This is not about me and Biggie. Everybody keep talking about it. Y'all making this nigga bigger than he is. All right. Do you hear me fucking talking about this is about a, this is a major plan, a major strategy. That was the impetus or the starter or the generator that kicked it off. They happen to be the, 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 the regime before me. Just like Republicans hate Carter or whatever. Now the Republicans is like we can't wait for Bush to come back. You know? Right, right. Just like now I'm in power, they everybody that, that love Biggie, they all like I can't wait for Biggie to come back. Or somebody like that or, or nah. That's why they root for them. They rooting for they but they, right. they stay people and, and when I was right. gone, that's why all my niggas was like, we can't wait for them to come and that's why they rushed the polls. They wanted a new regime. And my regime includes the East Coast. It includes the West Coast. Right. It, it brings money. It's economics. It's you know what I mean? Party. I study this shit. Yeah, I bring money to New York by signing groups, by Death Row East. That's bringing money, economics, that's sales. I'm bringing the bridge through this motherfucker. I want to start an athletic team where all the rappers sponsor a team. Right, right. You know what I mean? I'm bringing the community, the community involved. I'm giving money back to the community. We got Mother's Day, Thanksgiving, and Christmas so far. Death Row. We've been doing that every. We're gonna do it every year. Clothing, feeding. That's come on. That's the welfare right there. All right. We are the best choice for this fucking to the millennium. That's some shit, man. I'm telling you. And I'm the only one in it like that. This nigga Biggie still talking about fucking. Godfather, that's why I said to Nas when I diss him in my record, you watch too many fucking movies. Right. No, who's gonna fucking follow you? These niggas talking about Al Pacino, they getting their Italians mixed up. Right, right. They like Al Pacino, Luciano. Uh, that show you what type of niggas you dealing with. Only thing they like is the sound of an Italian nigga's name. <laughs> the Italians I speak about, we're really truly great men. And I find any great man, black or white, I'm gonna study him, learn it, so he can't be great to me no more. Like and like Machiavelli. And that's why I don't say my name's not Machiavelli. My name right. is Machiavelli. I took it. Right. That's mine. He gave me that. You know what I mean? I took that. Just like and I don't feel no guilt. That motherfucker, all these motherfuckers stole from us forever. I'm taking back what's mine. Right. It's just that they recorded it when he said it. Right. It's probably something he took from us that they didn't let us record. Right. 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 So there's no shame. You know what I mean? Like all this red and shit. Yeah. Stone. No doubt. No right. doubt. And I feel like I'm not on like people bashing like they are like on some. Why is niggas into this Italian mall shit? It's not about Italians to me, but I'm about studying people. I study the CIA, America. I hate America as as for what we did, but I love us for being strong. You got to do that. So what? We don't got a good image. We the strongest motherfucking nation. I, that's me. That's me right fucking there. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck if y'all don't like me. I got the bombs. Can't nobody touch me. Won't nobody rush me. Something we doing right. That's that capitalism shit. Yeah. Because you can feed your kids with that thought. All that other shit, you can't feed your kids with that. You can't feed your kids, you can't have a nation. So that's what's more important now. To me, is to take the, um, the discipline, the seriousness, and the bond that the mob has. To take the, um, enthusiasm, the morals, the principles that the Black Panthers had, and the strength that the Black Panthers had, to take the camaraderie and um, go all out, we'll die for you. Um, all of us as a team that the police have, to take um, the nation is first attitude, whatever we gotta do to be number one, that United States take, and I'm, that's what makes me unstoppable. And take that nigga attitude that, that makes me look at all of that shit, study it and learn it. Take the, the young African-American to have the talent to exhibit it. 
You know what I mean? And take the businessman, take the president, to take the philosopher to be able to break it down into an actual philosophy. Right, right. And that's what Columinati is. But it's up to you to bring it to the people or else we're going to have an East Coast, West Coast war because right. I'm not bowing down. I'm not going to say, you know, everything I did was righteous by the rules of war. You know what I mean? And they got to recognize that. But it's, it's really like right now it's not New York because New York got love. It's the writers, the radio people mm -hmm. are using this as some way. They don't know a what to talk about. Track. Right. So that's what it's, and it's... Just like you sat down and thought about that nigga, them shit, you can sit down and think of how they... You can, you can make people see it as yeah. clear as it is. Just like you, we're on the same level. You, you look at things and then you figure out how it's like a big plan to it. You know, it got to be a big plan if this shit is happening. Like right. you were saying about me and Biggie being like politics. That's how I looked at it. Like, wait yeah. a minute, this shit is... I look at the rap game, like how it is. Like, right. every couple months, a whole new... Right. Gen it's a whole, a whole new, new genre. Yeah. They'll say, like, they got a whole bunch of writers talking about gangster rap is dead. Those are the ones that don't like gangster right. rap. Right. That's like the writers that right. don't so like they, Republicans. So they do, so they they do they, that they, thing. They, they spin. You know what I mean? And then there's other ones that are like... Tupac dropped the best, you know, who, those are the ones that love it, those are the radio people that love right. it, you know what I mean? And our job basically is not to, I'm not, I don't want to see them dead, because by the other side being who the other side is, that makes me the best man. 